What up folks, I'm UltraZilla and today I have a review of the Super 7 Ultimates Transformers G1 Optimus Prime. This is the shipper box it comes in. Thought I'd show you this. And we get the full uh, unboxing of this. You know I've unboxed it once on a live stream. This is a really nice box, but for those of you that didn't catch that and wanted to see how these boxes are laid out, there you go. Really, really premium. Look at that metallic red foil for Optimus. Beautiful stuff. Very, very nice. It says Autobots here in glossy print. The back has an Autobot symbol. And then you slip that out and you get the window box with everything laid out. Very, very cool. Classic Transformers logo there. Ultimates logo there. I don't even know if I've ever seen the Ultimates logo, to tell you the truth. That looks very nice. Nice job, Super 7. Do dig it as a logo designer myself. I like that one. And there you go. Classic tech specs for Optimus. Even Super 7 here is printed really nicely. And that's it. That's the box. Beautiful box. So without any further ado, let's get to the review. Taking a look at Optimus in full and come on guys, this is a perfect representation of the G1 cartoon. Um, proportions are perfect. They absolutely are. It looks the, the it looks the part perfectly. Um, really, really dig how this looks proportionally. And you know, we had the, the red version um, pretty recently, and I don't know, that one kind of missed the mark for me. But this guy does not. It really, really, really doesn't. The head sculpt is awesome. I really dig this head sculpt. The eyes are painted nicely in blue. The darker blue for the helmet looks really good. The grays look good. The sculpt is nice. The little ears are... Okay, they are soft plastic and twice already I've had to reshape this one. Because <laughs> I... I, I bent it back by mistake or to the side. Um, so do be careful with those. The back of the head looks really cool. But yeah, I really dig this Optimus head sculpt. And now going down the body, you got the little lights up here. They look fine. The chest is pretty good in blue. You got the grates here with the grays on the side. They all look good. The belt in yellow looks nice on the arms. You got the pipes. This one might be a little bent, but it's okay. It's also that soft plastic. Nice boxy arms. Fists are looking good. We're going to look at other hands afterwards. Lots of accessories with this guy. The, um, of course, it's an Ultimates. Uh, the Autobot symbol looks really nicely printed. Got the little things there, which look cool. On the back, boxy, good. Back looks fine. Nice little slot here, ready for some jet packing. Uh, and you can see that, like, you know, there's a little outline there already of it, uh, which is well done. His little little crotch piece here <laughs> looks fine in blue. The rest of the legs look nicely sculpted. Down here looks really well sculpted. I really like them a lot. The sides there look good. Grates there look good. The fits look a nice. And yeah, this is pretty good. I do want to say, I have this like little circle that I noticed there. And and then uh, a little bit going on there too. Harder to see in person, but I see it more in, in, in my viewfinder here. And like, you know, I just wanted to point it out. I can't tell what exactly it is. It looks like somebody put a coffee cup on there. <laughs> Um, but no, I don't know. I don't know. I can't tell if it's dirt or not from here, but did want to point that out. I doubt that's something, uh, most people have, but 
and it could be something that comes off really easy too. Otherwise, I think this guy looks really good. Perfectly G1. Uh, I really, really dig that. Very nice Optimus. Articulation on a big old Optimus. Head moves like so. The body crunches there at the abs. About that much goes back. You have a swivel at the waist. You have a hinge and a swivel at the shoulder. You have a swivel at the bicep. You have a hinge at the elbow and I can <laughs> rotate it right. Uh, but it can rotate there as well at the forearm. The wrists um, swivel and you have a hinge there. And then and the legs come out that much, kicks forward, goes back, swivel at the thigh. The knee is pretty deep, which is nice. It's not double jointed, but it's very, very deep, which is very much appreciated. And then the foot goes up and down like so. Can rock the foot just a tiny bit. Uh, I wish there was a little bit more of that, but you know, pretty decent here. And a real quick addendum to all that, I did want to mention that this is like a more rubbery, soft plastic, this crotch piece, so you can, you know, make it go out further. I do, I am a little afraid that's going to start splitting there if you <laughs> try to do it too much, uh, you know what I'm saying? But it is there, I definitely wanted to mention, and the rest of the plastic is a nice, chunky, solid feeling plastic <laughs> you know what i'm saying makes it feel like a, it's a worth the price of admission there all right but on to the fun part of an ultimate figure and that is the accessories first up we get extra hands you have a hand with a little slot in it that you're gonna use you have a gun holding hand you're gonna use it for something special you have a um you know what could be a pointing hand or it could be you know, for something else and you have another gripping hand. All of them are sculpted well. Next, we have Optimus Prime's Ion Blaster, and it looks pretty good. I like the sculpt. It is very nicely done. It's just done in black, but it does look very, very nice. Now, there is a problem here, though, I have to admit. The um, gun holding hand, you know, you could do up to there, and it's fine, but... It, it should go all up to there. And I, I did just notice I have some sort of like glue here. Um, and that's very, you could do it. However, when you do get up there, you get a very weird angle for the hand. So these come out really easy, which is great. So that's not a problem. Uh, and, you know, it's it's a little strange because you want to tilt it upwards and it bangs into that and it just gets misaligned, um, which is unfortunate. So uh, that's a bit of a bummer. You can't get him, you can't get the hand where it's supposed to be. However, I will say that this is one Optimus Prime figure where I really don't care about the blaster. Next, we get the Matrix of Leadership, and that's painted pretty well with the yellows and the blues, the gray around. It looks pretty good. I put in a, this kind of grippy hand. This seems like a good hand to do this with. Uh, you'd have to put in another hand there if you wanted to try to do it. The whole thing, but oh, and that's not working out for me now, is it? But, you know, you, you can get it in this one. I guess the other hand as well would work the firing hand i would think yeah yeah you could do that too you get a spike with wiki figure little little tiny guy i do see like do i see an eye picked out there that's amazing i think just one but i unless it's like scratched or dirt or something but i do see it um the rest of the features you know you can't really make it out we'll zoom in a little more yeah, there's something there. <laughs> Don't know if that's intentional or not, uh, but there's something there. Hair, hat, shirt looks fine. Pants and boots. You know, it is what it is. You could take Optimus here and uh, you could 
You can make him spike stand up on his uh, shoulder, which looks very nice. You get Optimus's Energon Axe, which is nicely done. Nice translucent orange plastic there. And uh, you would take out this hand for that. Uh, pop that in. Now he's got the Energon Axe, which I think looks pretty cool. We get some really rubbery Energon binders, uh, which is done pretty nicely. I do like how this looks, it's like literally looking plastic, some blue, some gold. Very, very nice. And uh, I guess since it's a binder, like, I don't know, you want to put it around his arms. I didn't really check over how to do it and I can't really recall it, but you know, something like that. And then he's like, I think that looks really good. You could use this for a lot of things too. So it's a nice little accessory to have. We get an extra head and this head is really cool. This is a G1 Optimus toy head. Look at that. That's neat. Paint looks really good. The sculpt is fun. I do I dig that. Not something I probably <laughs> use too much, but it's it's just fun to have. It's a nice little inclusion there. That's how he looks with it. It looks a little weird, admittedly, but I don't know. It's still a fun little accessory. We get Optimus's jetpack, which is done in this gray plastic, which looks, looks fine with black little thrusters here. Looks pretty decent. And like I said, you know, you have the space there for it. You just want to pop it in there. You can slide it in too, but I found that a little bit harder to do. Um, it stays in really secure. It looks really good. This for me, um, you know, kind of makes the look a little bit. Uh, I really, I, I dig that. I really do. Okay, now we get to the two fun accessories. First up, we get a surfboard. <laughs> this is so uh, show specific. I love it. Looks really cool. Nice kind of bluish grayish plastic. I dig that. And uh, there's little holes there, little pegs to get Optimus onto the surfboard. And now, you know, he could be surfing safari. A little, he's got his jetpack on too, so... Uh, <laughs> really, he's like Silver Surfer now, you know? But he's not silver. But yeah, uh, that's fun. That's a fun one. And last but not least, uh, this is the most fun for me. It is a basketball, uh, and that is phenomenal. Looks pretty decent. It is a black basketball. You know, some of the lines aren't, you know, perfect, but are your basketballs perfect? I don't think so. Uh, and that's what this peg is for. Pop it in, and uh, uh, there, my zillions, is the most unique and awesome look for... Uh, to Miss Prime in this set, in my opinion. I absolutely love this. I love the idea of Optimus playing basketball. It's, again, show-specific, uh, episode-specific, and it is cool. So, for me, basketball playing Optimus is uh, the way to go. And, uh, yes, with the jetpack as well. Now, uh, I did say... You know, you have the uh, finger pointing hand, and I didn't really try it, but I'm assuming, you know, not just, you know, uh, uh, Autobots transform and roll out, but I would figure you could do this, and it could be, you know, uh, it works, but uh, there you go. You know, you could be twirling the basketball here. Oh, fell. Uh, let's see if we can do it again. Like that. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I don't know. It's fun. Basketball, Optimus, it's a winner. And for your size comparisons, here is the Super 7 Ultimates Optimus Prime with a bunch of other Optimus Prime figures you might have in your collection. And my final thoughts, this is a fun Optimus Prime figure. You know, uh, I do have a problem with the, the gun not going in his hand great, but like I said, it's not what I wanted this particular Prime figure for. 
I think that the basketball. It's the basketball, guys. I'm gonna freely admit it. I really wanted this guy because he came with a basketball, and I love the idea of Optimus playing basketball. So, um, yeah, for for that alone, I, it gets it gets a good mark for me. And that, and you know, honestly. This is a really, really nice G1 Optimus from the cartoon. It really looks the part. Um, for sure, that should be the biggest selling point. Uh, but for me, it's the best. <laughs> I just love it. Um, I'm, I'm gonna admit it, it sounds ridiculous, but uh, I just absolutely love the jetpack on the basketball in hand. It just, it's just too good. And there you go. That's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you could please like, comment, subscribe, share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe. Till next time. Peace out, peeps.